Hi then. So for this question then, we were now asked to solve 8 times 4 to the power x minus 9 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 0. And we see that the answer then turns out to be x is minus 3 or x is 0. And to do this, we pick up on the first part of the question where we were asked to express 4 to the power x in terms of y. And we saw that that was the same as y squared. So what this reduces down to is a quadratic equation then in y or 2 to the power x just by substituting y in for each of these two terms here. OK, that will give us then 8y squared minus 9y plus 1 equals 0. And then you can factorize it and then put each factor equal to 0. Solve for y and you get y equals 1 8 or y equals 1. Remember, you could use the quadratic formula here if you want, but uh, as I say, it does factorize, so that's got to be a lot quicker. Now, we then say that y is 2 to the power x, so you've got 2 to the power x equals 1 8 or 2 to the power x equals 1. And for 2 to the power x equaling 1 8, the answer is obviously minus 3, because you should be aware that 2 cubed would give us 8, but if we put to the power minus 3, that's 1 over 2 cubed, 1 over 8 in other words, 1 8. So x equals minus 3, and for 2 to the power x equaling 1, remember anything to the power 0 always is 1. So x had to be 0, and that gives us our two answers, x equals minus 3 or x equals 0. Okay?